Hello friends, it's Aki here, and welcome back to another episode of What I 3D Printed. Today, I've got a few more cool gadgets that I recently printed with the Bamboo Lab P1S, and I'm really excited to share with you guys. Uh, links to the models will be in the description if you want to print them out yourself. And as always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Now let's get started with the first one. A little cool iris ring mechanism right here. If you push this lever on the side here, all the blinds or curtains, whatever you call it, kind of opens up in a uniform way. You've probably seen this mechanism in a camera lens, the aperture blades before. The assembly is a little bit challenging trying to layer all the, the leaf blades on top of each other, trying to stack them up. They keep falling off, but with a little bit of effort, I was able to line them up perfectly and then I close, close the thing with the cover and then I put some super glue to it. One philosophy that I've gradually adapted as I keep 3D printing is to focus on making functional and practical items like things that with moving parts and needs assembling. All right, next up in the middle here, this is actually by far my favorite print so far. What it is is a little container, but you can actually slide this door open like that. And what's revealed inside is actually a SD card holder. How cool is that? So this is a bread box style uh, SD card storage. I think they call it this style of sliding door called timbre, but uh, it's really cool. I've seen so many SD card holder design on the 3D printing world, and most of them are just like very basic, but this one, I think it took the design to a whole different level. So I really love the design. The only uh, problem, or not problem, small issue I was having is when I try to close it, there's like a little lock slot right here. It doesn't like to close properly. You have to kind of push this down a little bit. Now it locks. But I really like this um, this case from my SD card and I think I'll be using this from now on for sure. And in the future, I think I'm gonna print a the uh, door in a different color, maybe like orange, just to give it like a accent color so it's not just white. Definitely check this model out. And the third item here, May look familiar to you if you play um, video game. This is actually the uh, butter knife from CSGO. It's looking very realistic. I use uh, the ABS black with a PLA green and the color combination turns out really nice. But what I really like about this is not only this looks great, it actually feels really good in hand. I'm really surprised even though this thing is made with plastic, uh, it's able to get all the balancing right. So when you flip flip it, it feels right in your hand. So there are lots of uh, 3D printable fidget toys out there. And by far, the butterfly knife is the most satisfying. And you can potentially impress your friends with it. So I think what I'm going to do in the future, I am definitely going to be printing out different colors, versions of the uh, butterfly knife. Uh, maybe use one of those color that changes, uh, depends on the lighting. So that'd be really cool. Okay, so that's it for what I 3D printed. And I hope you enjoy checking out these gadgets as much as I enjoy making them. If you did, remember to hit that thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printing tech content. And thank you for watching. My name is Aki, and I will see you in the next one.